We're getting ready to yum yum get us some. I got a tomahawk and I got Eric Wood with me. We're getting ready to show you how to make a crunchy tomahawk. So we got all four flavors of Danos, but what I want to show you, Eric, is you can actually use the crunchy everything bagel and whichever one of the other Danos you want, but we're going with the spicy. Mix it together. Not only do you get one of the best steaks, but you get a little crunch with it too. Sounds damn good. I'm going to let you do the sprinkling. Get a little olive oil, rub that in, hit it with the spicy there. Now, you know, you don't have to worry about doing too much because we're low sodium, all natural, real flavor. It's not packed full of salt. It's the right amount so you can be aggressive with it. There's our crunchy everything bagel. I'm gonna kind of press that in. Let's hit the other side. Do it with the spicy. Press that in. Now I want y'all to see something. You can see right there that there's large chunks of sea salt. That's the way the Dano's Crunchy is made. It's made to be crunchy, but we still add the right amount of salt in there to get the right amount of salt flavor. So putting a lot on there, it's not gonna be salty. It's gonna be just right. We're going on. Looking good. Give it a little rotate. Steak's on fire. Yep, that's all right. Hey, that ain't burnt. It's an herb crust. But let's get us a bite. I'm gonna cut right through the center right here. How do we do? Let us know in the comments. Here we go, we're going right here. All right, Eric, so I got my piece. You got yours. But I want you to try some. Try the everything bagel sprinkled straight on your steak. Cheers. That's damn good. That's really good. You're speaking my damn language, Eric. I know you think I'm just a salesman, but there's a reason why I'm so passionate about it. That was literally one of the best bites of steak I've ever had for simply just putting some seasoning on it, putting some crunchy on it. Yum yum, get you some. Give it a try.